Hi everyone, welcome to another video created by me, Zan Ta. Today's Autodesk screencast focuses on some of the new features of Revit 2017. This will be one of many videos to be, so be on the lookout for additional videos in this series. Enjoy! So the last thing I'd like to show in what's new in Revit 2017 new features for architectural and general enhancements is scheduling improvements. Here I am in a Revit project that has a schedule and the first thing you'll notice is I have a new column here called door size that is describing the height, the width, and the thickness all as one. Let's actually go into the fields. Let's go into that door size, height, width, thickness column parameter if you will and click edit parameter. What you'll notice that it, it is is what is called a combined parameter. It allows you to create the name of the parameter and take any other parameters that you want and place them into this bucket, if you will, to describe what this combined parameter is. So for example here, it's describing three parameters that describe the door size, the height, the width, and the thickness. You can have separators if you need to. So for example here, it would be a separator with an X. They give you the um, a preview, if you will, of the end result. And when you're all said finished, <clears throat> you can also put spaces, if you will, to help with the spacing of how things look. And when you click OK, it'll make the update. I'll click OK, and now it gives you the update that you need. Uh, lastly, we want to head over to the project browser, and if you right-click the schedule, you can now create a view template from that view, whereas before you couldn't do it. Call it whatever you want, my custom schedule template. Hit OK and it will actually capture everything just like it does in a regular view template process. Hit OK and it's created. You now can take that and use that in any other Revit project. So thank you very much for watching this series of What's New in Revit 2017. Be on the lookout for additional What's New videos for Revit 2017 because I'm going to start moving into the structural and the MEP enhancements as well.